near a haunted cemetery where I used to go ghost hunting. Throughout my visits, I noticed it was most active in the spring and during the day. I didn't catch many anomalies, just a few occasional orbs. A friend and I once went on a gloomy, rainy day. It was unusually quiet, and we were instantly surrounded by little black flies the kind you find around lakes and rivers. We took pictures throughout the cemetery, especially of one grave that featured a man and a woman kissing. We didn't experience anything except for the flies and a lack of bird sounds. When we got back to my friend's house, I began looking through the pictures on my cheap straight talk phone. The camera sucked, but it was better than the naked eye. One picture showed something crazy. I still have it, but it's on Facebook, which doled the quality. Before, it clearly showed a winged creature peeking around a gravestone and a large shadow entity by another. The original is still on that old phone, but it doesn't turn on anymore. I returned a few more times and tried different ghost apps, but none of them actually worked. I thought I heard responses on one app, but I couldn't be sure. The next day, while taking a shower, I caught movement from the corner of my eye. It looked like a black hand with long, bony fingers. I turned away and turned back a minute later to see a tall, black figure with long arms standing in the corner of my vision. But when I turned to look at it directly, nothing was there. My shirt was on the floor and bunched in a way that gave it almost an inhuman face. It looked like it was laughing at me. After that experience, I stopped going to the cemetery for a while. But that fall, I returned with a different friend and his girlfriend. It was a weird trip. I took a picture of them on a hill and there was something standing behind them. It had a pale face with a menacing smile, black eyes, a missing nose. I believe the cemetery has a portal, and that the surrounding woods are haunted as well. Many entities seem to pass through the area, but I believe one is serving as a guard, and I think it's a soul collector. The last part of this story pertains to this one entity. In 2019, I returned to the cemetery with my friend from the first trip. I wanted to try a new app called The Portal. And trust me, that app wasn't what it is today. Supposedly, it used to reverse speech, but you couldn't hear words. And if you did, it was a spirit. We began exploring and asking questions. But nothing happened until we came to a certain area and we heard whispering through the app. It almost sounded like it was answering our questions, but I couldn't make out its words. It stayed with us until we heard a deep, electronic scream. Then it stopped. Nothing else afterwards. So we returned to my apartment. While watching TV, I saw a shadow on the wall like it passed in front of the light. I thought my friend was moving his arm, but I looked down the hallway to see a disfigured humanoid shadow dart out of my room. My friend said he felt a weird energy, and later, when he was sleeping, I felt uneasy while playing a game. It felt like something was watching me. So I turned towards the window. I saw a black mass with white, glowing eyes staring at me. It suddenly dissipated like smoke. I told my friend the next morning, and he said he had weird dreams about a monster. Curious, I wanted to try the portal app again, but my friend didn't want any part of it. I took it to my room, began asking who was here, 
who the shadow was. I got nothing at first. When I finally did get a response, I asked for a name. In a clear, deep voice, it said, Louis. But immediately after, a robotic, inhumane voice said, Let me in. After I said no, it repeated itself twice more before falling silent. I asked, Who's there? For a few minutes, a woman's voice said, Your house is haunted. Then the robotic voice returned, once again, demanding, Let me in. Let me in. I still said no, but this time, it responded with an angry, electronic roar. I concluded it was mimicking human voices in an attempt to trick me. I stopped messing around with it, and a few days later, I started having bad luck. I lost my job and my apartment, which resulted in moving back to my mother's house. In October 2019, I got a new job, and things began to improve again, until the entity made itself known, tried to take my life by causing a wreck. I was driving when I saw something that looked like an extremely tall, skeletal deer walking on two legs. It had crazy horns. Its head was a goat skull. I only saw it for a split second. Then everything went black. I woke up to someone knocking on my window. I had a broken eye socket, two meniscus tears in my knee, and a bad cut on my head. They said my SUV rolled a quarter of a mile. I didn't mention the cemetery's name because it's a dangerous place. I've never gone back. I truly believe that the entity that's always there is either a soul collector, some kind of portal guardian. I've encountered lesser demons, but I've never seen anything like this. I have a photo of this entity, but it manipulated the background to form a face. Last night I was finishing up a YouTube video as I got into bed. When it ended, I set my alarm and leaned over to plug in my phone. When I rolled back, I noticed a foggy mass above my body. It was black and partially transparent, but it felt heavy and dense, like a very negative energy mass. I immediately sat up and felt a head rush like I was on drugs. It kept growing stronger, and multiple different frequencies began to loudly ring in my ears. There were at least three different pitches. And no, it wasn't just my tinnitus. I'm very aware of what those episodes are like. These frequencies were layered over one another. It felt like something was trying to communicate with me. I turned on the light, went to the bathroom, and tried saying... If anything is trying to contact me, I can't hear what you're saying. I feel sick, and this isn't making any sense, so please stop. But it didn't stop. I checked the locks on the doors before returning to bed, and once the lights were off again, I felt the same negative energy vacate my room. As I laid there, feeling sick, I began to pray asking God for help. I repeated, please do not allow negative energy into this house. For five minutes, as I envisioned a white light cleansing every room as it grew brighter and brighter. After that, the energy completely shifted. The negativity, along with the ringing, was gone, and I didn't feel nauseous anymore. My efforts were paying off. And after a few more minutes, I started to feel warm, positive energy. One last detail. I have the washer and dryer in my room because that's the only hookup spot. 
Last night, my roommate was doing laundry, so I planned to ask if he was having negative thoughts or feelings at the time. I can't control his energy, but I can explain it to him for the next time. This probably sounds crazy, but I've been having experiences like this my entire life. I'm currently 28, but as a child, I heard voices, I saw shadows often. As an adult, I've had extremely similar situations to the one I just described. That's how I knew what to do. At a younger age, I would have simply fallen asleep terrified with the negative energy in my room. I lived in Michigan, Tennessee, and Florida over the past 10 years. I've had the craziest experiences in Tennessee. Michigan comes in as a close second. But there were almost none in Florida, which is interesting since I lived alone in that instance. Maybe I'm just sensitive to other people's energy. Has anyone ever had a similar experience? Every time I tell my friends or family, they just can't relate. Thanks for taking the time to read this. I hope others with similar situations will find this thread and see that they aren't alone. Some people are simply more sensitive to these occurrences. <laughs>